everyone, Caroline Roberts here and welcome back to the Writers Retreat Network for Premium Content Wednesdays. So guys, today, and I touched a little bit on it last week, but today we're going to be talking about overcoming post-publishing depression. So if you've published a book and you found that after you published it, it's now like you're, you're in this depression, you're kind of in this down state, you feel discouraged, you feel like your book didn't sell like it was going to sell, it didn't reach people like you thought it was going to reach, you opened it up after publishing and you see all these typos, you feel like you're discontent, you feel like you could have did better, you could have put a better foot forth. I want to give you guys tips on how you can combat that and how you can move forth past this you know state of facing the post publishing depression now this is a term that i made up and i am a mommy so i'm also familiar with your mothers who experience postpartum depression after having a baby and i relate you know having to, a baby to like having a book like you're birthing your book you're actually birthing something and sometimes when you're separate like from your book now it's out there for the world to carry the world to hold and it's no longer attached to you it's no longer hidden inside kind of like when you were carrying your baby it was hidden inside but you birthed it and you brought that thing out of you sometimes you know you go through this separation anxiety sometimes you go through this depressing state of how do I navigate life as a new author just like you know mothers are trying to figure out how do I navigate life as a new mom and they're rethinking in their head their birth it may have been traumatic they're rethinking the birth of their baby their labor and delivery they're like it didn't turn out how I wanted it to turn out I didn't get to do a natural delivery I ended up you know having a c-section or I ended up having an episiotomy and in the same way when you're publishing a book it's like sometimes you're like dang like my delivery was not how I expected it to be the pre-orders didn't go how I expected it to go you know I thought I was gonna land on the bestsellers list and I didn't land on the bestsellers list like it just didn't turn out how I imagined it all my life how I expected it to be and this is the purpose of why I am making this video today don't let this keep you down keep pressing forward keep moving forward stay encouraged this is not the end of the road. Many authors actually face this. So my first tip is make sure that you're in community and you guys are already in community because you're part of this community. But just in general, even outside of this community, have writers, have supporters, have people who you can talk to and ask them, how was your publishing experience? How was your writing experience with your first book? What did you learn? How could I do better for next time? Have people you can just talk to, that you can just share your feelings, you can share your emotions, who can understand, who can say, I've been there, I've had that same experience, like it's okay. So have community is my first tip. Number two, celebrate the good. Celebrate the positive. If you sold one book, then isn't that not good? You published a whole book. Like, celebrate that. You published a whole book. That wasn't easy. That wasn't easy. You were faithful. You showed up even though you went, you pressed past the writer's block. You pressed past the procrastination and you did it. Give yourself a hand clap. Celebrate that. You were obedient to what God told you to do. Celebrate the fact that you accomplished something that you said that you wanted to do. Celebrate the fact that through this book experience, you became a better writer, you grew as a writer. Through writing this book, you gained so many revelations. Through doing your research and your writing, so many things were revealed to you. You learned so much, you experienced so much. You had to pass some tests. Okay, you've been through so much. So celebrate even the small victories. You know, sometimes we got to take our eyes off of, you know, the limelight. Take our eyes off of what we think is more important, what we think is the big victories. But celebrate the small victories because God is proud of you. God is celebrating you for what you have done. The next tip that I want to give is make new goals that you want to work towards. It's like you accomplish your goal. Your goal was to publish your book. But now that it's published, Make some new goals so that you have something that you're working towards. A lot of times when mothers, 
you know, their goal was just to give birth to the baby and to get through it. But then after they have the baby, they're like, what goals can I set? Okay, I want to work out. I want to get snatched again. I want to lose weight. I want to get back to working my business. I want to get back to feeling like myself. I want to get back to taking care of my body, to doing my nails, getting my hair done. Okay, those are goals that help to build the confidence of a woman who just had a baby. But as authors, we need to make new goals. Okay, I published my book. Now I want to make goals to market it this year. I want to make goals to have a book signing tour. I want to make goals to do better on the next book. I want to make goals to re-edit my book, to do a version two, to go back and edit the manuscript again. Edit the book cover, version two, make it better. Make goals. This is not the end of the road. You can always become better and better as you go forth. The next tip that I want to share is learn from your mistakes, okay? You may have made some mistakes. You may have made some typos. Maybe you went with the wrong graphic designer. I don't know. Maybe, you know, you just made some mistakes. You didn't plan certain things in advance, but learn from the mistakes and use them to your advantage so that when you publish your next book, when you're helping and giving tips to other writers, whatever it is, however you're going forth, you'll be able to learn from the mistakes that you made and apply them and get better and better. By this point, I've written probably like six or seven books and every time I come out with a new book, it's better and better and I just get better and better and better. But my first book, before saying yes to the Ring. I mean, people enjoyed that book. A lot of people said it was great, but it was a hot mess, if I could be honest. I did the book cover by myself. I probably had a whole bunch of typos in my manuscript, but I was just trying to be obedient. I was just trying to get it out there, and I just got it out there, but I didn't let that discourage me. I said, I'm going to keep going forth. I'm going to keep writing more books. I'm going to keep getting better. I'm going to keep, you know, working with better editors. I'm going to get better designing. You know, just get better and better and better. The next thing is to don't compare yourself to other authors. You're comparing yourself to this next best-selling author who's been writing for years and years, who's probably on her 20th book, and you're comparing yourself to her and saying, why am I not where she is? Why am I, you know, not there? Don't compare yourself to that other author because when you compare yourself, you belittle the beautiful thing that God is doing inside of you, the beautiful thing that you have going on. Give yourself credit and stop feeling like you need to be where this other author is. The only person you want to be better than is yourself. You want to be better than you were the day before. You want to be better than you were the week before, okay? You just want to get better and better as a writer and as an author. Don't compare yourself to any anyone else, any other authors, any other writers. You can look to them as motivation. You can look to them for inspiration, but don't compare yourself to them and belittle yourself and belittle the work that God is doing inside of you. So I hope that this video was helpful to just give you guys some tips on overcoming post-publishing depression and just continue moving forth guys in what he has called you to do continue becoming better at your writing you can always go back and make your book better do another version of it do another series authors and writers do it all the time even some of the best they go and make a version two okay a version 2.0 so i hope that you found this video helpful i love you guys and i'll see you next week for our next premium content wednesday video until next time bye